To find the area of a triangle, we just need to think about the space that the triangle sits in. Now, if we look at the right angle triangle, it's the easiest one to start with. If you imagine sitting that triangle inside a rectangle, the smallest rectangle that it would fit in would look like this. And what you've now got is a rectangle with its diagonal. Now that we know that the diagonal of a rectangle divides the rectangle into two equal sized pieces. So if we know that a rectangle is base times the height, then the triangle must be half of that. And that gives us our formula half times the base times the height. Now it's easy to understand that these two pieces are the same size on the right angle triangle, but what about a scalene triangle that has all different length sides? Well, all you do with this is take any point on the triangle, drop a line straight down that meets the opposite side at right angles. Now we've got two right angle triangles and we could easily sit this entire triangle inside a, square, a rectangle and you can see that inside this rectangle on this side, we've now got it divided as a diagonal and this is the same size as this. And over on this side, we've got another rectangle and this part will be the same size as this part. So it still holds through. True, area equals half times base times height. Now, the thing you need to be careful of is that the base and the height in this one are at right angles to each other. That's obvious. But in this triangle as well, we need to make sure that we're not using the slanty height here or here, but the vertical height. All right, so when you have a rectangle, sorry, a triangle that looks like this, and you might be given the measurements on it, let's say that this is 10 centimetres, this might be um, 8 centimetres. If you're given one of these lengths, you don't use it because what you want is the straight up and down vertical height that is actually perpendicular to the base that you're using. All right, what about triangles like this? Well, to prove whether or not this formula works for this sort of triangle, and it does, all we need to do is double this triangle. Now, if we could imagine actually just duplicating another triangle exactly the same as this one, and then flipping it over and turning it upside down and spinning it around, we could actually place it like that, okay? Now, this length will be the same as this length, and this length will be the same as this length. So what we've actually created here now is a parallelogram. And we already know that parallelograms have area equals base times height, where the height is gonna be the vertical height, straight up and down, which meets the base at right angles. So if this is the base here, and this is the vertical height here, not the slanty height, the vertical height, we can see that area equals base times height would be the area of our whole parallelogram, but we've divided it in half straight along its diagonal, so we only want half of it. And the same rule holds true.